Today we are going to start our first gardening experiment. Okay, so we'll put just some holes in the bottom for drainage. This idea came from Matt, as in the UK it is common to grow plants directly in compost bags. Okay, okay. so then flip it over. Okay. And then you cut like an X there. Yep. We were advised that two to plant of plants uh, should be the right size for a compost bag. And we are trying early girl, um, which should be an early variety of uh, tomato. You probably tuck those flaps in underneath them. Yeah. The tomato plants were three weeks old when we bought them. So these are the two tomato plants. We'll see how they fare this summer. So these are the tomato plants a week later after we planted them into this um, bag. So far they look like they're doing well. So this is another week on the tomatoes and uh, they're doing pretty good. I'm surprised nobody has still eaten them, but hopefully they will start uh, blossoming soon. So tomato plants have grown considerably and we have added a bamboo stake to each of them so they don't fall over. Have you seen the stuff you flowers today? <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. That has grown quite a lot. And we have small tomatoes over here. And these two large ones. What? That's cool. And then all these flowers will turn into tomatoes as well. Mm -hmm. And we've got another one, two, three. Oh, that one's forming. Mm -hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, like another 30 on here. So I think it was only like a week ago that that was flowering. Mm -hmm. So maybe a week till those will flower. I have more. Are we meant to be like pruning this? I don't know. I'm, I'm talking this is the first time learning experience. We should probably just look up like <laughs> pruning. But if they grow this much and we didn't do anything, yeah. then I think I chalk that as a win. They smell like tomatoes. Yeah. yeah. If like you touch them, like the leaves and stuff. We were doing so well with our tomatoes, but uh, this morning after last night's very windy and heavy rainy night, uh, we saw the tomatoes falling over, which is very sad. Now we know that this kind of flimsy um, post is not enough and they should have been tied up more. Hopefully they will survive. So I put four bamboo sticks in here and uh, tied them up. Some of them seemed already hurt when they fell down. Oh, there's a snail. It's like over here. 
So this is the point where it was bent uh, when it fell down. So we'll see whether this stem survives or not. Um, I hope at least some of it survives, but definitely a lesson for next time. You definitely want them to be tied up to something. And I think another lesson I'm learning is, I think you want to prune um, the bottom leaves as it grows because it's actually quite hard to manage so many large stems growing from one tomato plant. That means tying up is harder as opposed to if it was one stem just lo growing longer, then it just needs one tied up point. The first tomato is starting to turn red. So excited. And here we have a second tomato starting to turn red. Our first experiment of growing tomatoes was a success. The tomatoes grew and ripened and we got to enjoy deliciously tasting and smelling tomatoes. The next question is how many tomatoes will these two plants produce? We still have lots of green tomatoes and I don't think they're ripening as fast as they should. So I'll harvest some green ones and uh, hopefully they'll ripen on their own in a dark cupboard. Our total cost of growing these tomatoes was $39.18. This was $6.36 for the two tomato plants, $21.20 for the compost bag, and $11.62 for the bamboo stakes. Winter is coming, and after looking at the forecast, there are temperatures, nightly lows that are getting close to freezing, so I need to harvest the remaining tomatoes. You can harvest them green and put them in a dark place where it doesn't receive the sunlight, and then eventually they will turn uh, yellow or red and will ripen. So here's an example. I harvested these a couple weeks ago and I uh, have two tomatoes that have completely turned red and uh, two that are looking like they're going to ripen soon. From the two early girl tomato plants, I harvested more than 11 pounds of tomatoes. In Vermont's farmer's markets, from what I've seen, on average, I would say tomatoes cost $4 a pound. So we grew $44 worth of tomatoes. Comparing that to the $39 we spent, we are barely breaking even. If you compare with regular non-organic store-bought tomatoes, which are about $2 per pound, then it definitely wasn't cost-effective to grow our own. So, was it worth it? Yes! We learned that we want to grow tomatoes as they taste better than store-bought ones, and you can pick them fresh from the vine anytime. When we grow them on our property, eventually it will be even more cost-effective, because we can make our own steaks, make our own compost, and grow tomatoes from seed. So it is the end of the season here. Tomatoes were harvested a long time ago. So now um, we're gonna gather the tomato stands and we'll bring to the property and put them in a compost pile. And we'll bring the bag as well and we'll reuse the compost for growing more stuff next year. <laughs>